A haughty New York City publicist named Stu Shepard, Colin Farrell, is thinking about cheating on his wife Kelly, Radha Mitchell. From a phone booth on a side street, he makes a call to Pam, Katie Holmes, a young actress. Stu harshly ignores a delivery man, Deliant, who tries to bring a free pizza to the booth. Stu answers the phone when it calls after the call with Pam. According to the caller, Kiefer Sutherland, accepting the pizza would have kept his strength up for what comes next and Stu should have done so. He cautions Stu to stay in the booth. Stu is dismissive of the unknown caller once more. Stu can be seen looking worried as the caller tells him he will say hi to Kelly on his behalf before hanging up. The unidentified man returns the call and admits that he had previously placed two other dishonest people in a like predicament, where he gave them both a chance to right their wrongs but they both rejected thus he had to kill them. The other was a corporate executive who, using insider information, cashed in his stock options before the company's share price fell, and who declined the caller's request to split the proceeds with regular investors who lost money on that stock. The caller advises Stu to admit to adultery and to give Kelly and Pam the truth. When the man phones Pam, he puts Stu on speakerphone and informs her that Stu is married and just wants to have sex with Pam. Then he threatens to kill Stu unless Stu calls his wife and tells her the truth. Stu does this angrily. Three prostitutes who want to use the phone divert Stu's attention before he has a chance to tell Kelly the truth. Due of Stu's refusal to leave the booth, the prostitutes became angry and begin bashing against the glass. When Stu eventually hangs up the phone with his wife after becoming angry, he demands that the prostitutes to leave him alone. The man calls Stu as the three girls are leaving and threatens to shoot him if he hangs up once more. Stu doesn't believe him at first, but when the stranger cocks his weapon, he starts to. When Stu becomes frightened, he warns him that the police will show up if he shoots. The sniper disproves him, though, by silently shooting a toy robot right next to the booth. The caller keeps making fun of Stu's belief that the caller is incompetent. When the prostitutes and their pimp, Leon, John Eno's three, approach the booth and demand that Stu leave, the situation worsens. Stu declines out of fear that he will be shot. When Stu and Leon can't agree on anything, Leon breaks into the booth with a bat and attacks Stu. Stu responds yes when the sniper offers to assist him. The sniper shoots Leon in the back, scaring the prostitutes, who then accuse Stu. When the police show up, Stu is immediately the suspect. Though later he learns that the sniper had hidden a gun in the phone booth ceiling, on top of the light panel, that may be used as evidence in Leon's murder, he still has doubts that they will uncover anything to establish his involvement for the crime. When Captain Ed Ramey, Forrest Whitaker, arrives, he tries to persuade Stu to leave the booth, but he refuses, claiming that he is speaking to his psychiatrist and cannot end the call. The cops are under pressure to handle the situation without coming seen as trigger-happy as multiple television bands and reporters arrive and start filming the incident. The caller keeps taunting Stu by threatening to blow him, Rami, away. If he doesn't grab hold of the planted gun, but Stu resists because he knows the cops will probably shoot him. When Kelly arrives on the scene, the sniper coaxes Stu into telling her about his affair, which Stu does. Threatening to kill one of them to remove any remaining temptation, the man urges Stu to pick between Kelly and Pam. The unidentified caller informs Stu that police officers are currently attempting to listen in on the call, but they will be unsuccessful since the caller has taken steps to prevent it. Stu begs the sniper while also making a phone call to Kelly on his cell phone. When Captain Rami overhears the conversation, Rami surreptitiously alerts Rami of the sniper's presence. In front of the audience, Stu admits to being a nasty guy by advising his unpaid helper Adam, Keith Nobbs, who looks up to him, not to become a publicist and by confessing that his $2,000 watch is phony, much like himself. Stu explains that he grew up in the Bronx and that he wanted to acquire pricey clothing to put his past behind him. He is not as wealthy as he claims to be. Rami sends Stu a coded message informing him that the police have successfully located the sniper by tracing the call the sniper made to Kelly. When Stu warns the sniper that the police are on their way to arrest him, the sniper becomes furious and decides to flee with Kelly because she is the most important person in his life. In a fit of rage, Stu grabs the hidden gun, bolts from the booth, and cries, it's me you want. Just as police are entering a hotel room and finding a dead corpse, a phone, and a sniper weapon, Stu is shot and collapses. Then it becomes clear that Stu was largely uninjured after being struck by a rubber bullet fired by a police sniper. Kelly approaches Stu, who is still on the ground, and gives him a kiss. Kelly demands to see the sniper's body, and the cops will the one they discovered in the hotel room out onto the street. The body is the pizza delivery man, according to Stu. 
In an ambulance, Stu is receiving morphine for his recovery, which makes him sleepy. A man approaches him while toting a sizable luggage and remarks on his shoes. The man tells Stu that he regrets killing the pizza delivery boy and forewarns him that he will contact him again if his newly found sincerity does not hold up. He turns around and reveals himself to be the caller as he walks away and smiles as he passes the phone booth. Stu stumbles and passes out. The caller, who is now the narrator, asks isn't it funny? You hear a phone ring, and it may be coming from anyone, but a phone that is ringing ought to be answered, right? The scene changes from an overhead view of the city far into space with a satellite passing by before becoming completely dark and ending with the sound of a guy saying, hello? It appears that the deadly caller has restarted his quest to purge the world of bad people. That my mind fills up into a creature And it haunts me somewhere much deeper Anxiety, filling up every space, no privacy And silently, it can build and build until you find me see Whoa, it's taking over, damn no closure, moving closer No exposure, I just wanna be a loner oh, Some can't stay sober, looking over all their shoulders